the Battle of Alberta. It's the Battle of Alberta. This is, is big news. We haven't had this since, uh, since 1991. 1991 since the last Battle of Alberta. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about ice hockey. So Alberta has two hockey teams, okay? Uh, Calgary's hockey team is called the Calgary Flames. And Edmonton's hockey team is called the Edmonton Oilers. Okay, so I live here in Calgary. I'm from Alberta here. So um, I just thought I'd uh, make a video talking about some Alberta news. You know, sometimes I talk about politics or other things like that. So I thought today I'd give you some, some big news here in Alberta. So this is starting tonight. Okay, game one is tonight in the Battle of Alberta. It's just in a few hours here. So... By the time I upload this video, the game will maybe be almost starting. So, um, Calgary Flames versus the Edmonton Oilers. Now, this is called the Battle of Alberta, okay, when these two hockey teams meet. Um, now, this is significant now because this is in the playoffs. Okay, so these two teams haven't met since 1991 in the playoffs. Okay, I'll, I'll just mention that. Also, oh, um, I was going to mention that the Battle of Alberta is also a term used to describe um, football, not just ice hockey. Right? This is ice hockey, but there's another sport called Canadian football. It's where you, um, it's not the football that you play with your feet or in Europe or South America. It's this kind of football. It's like American football, but it's called Canadian football because the rules are a little bit different in Canadian football than they are in American football. So um, Calgary has a football team called the Calgary Stampeders. Okay, and Edmonton has a football team called the Edmonton Eskimos. So when both of those teams meet, <clears throat> then it's also called the Battle of Alberta. Right, so it's it's very often in sports, um, if there are two teams kind of close to each other, then it's that that's the biggest rivalry, right? Rivalry means just kind of like that competitive spirit, right? So you know, very often this is the case where the two closest teams have the biggest rivalry. So over in BC, you know, there would be a rivalry between between Vancouver and Victoria, for example, you know, or over in, in Toronto, there might be a, a rivalry between Toronto and Ottawa, let's say, you know, so, so these kind of rivalries exist. And so, and, you know, when you, when you see the, the term, um, the Battle of Alberta or the Battle of BC, it's probably talking about sports. Okay, so um, Calgary Flames against the Edmonton Oilers. Now, this is the NHL. The NHL stands for the National Hockey League. Okay, so this is the biggest ice hockey league in the world. And it is in Canada and the US. Okay, so the NHL is Canada and the US. But that doesn't mean that the players can't come from other parts of the world. Actually, a lot of people in the NHL are Russians or Europeans like... Um, Czechs, you know, people people from Sweden, Finland, um, Switzerland, Germany, right? You know, even a lot of the best players come from those places. So, you know, I don't know. It's it's a debate. Who which country has the best has the best hockey players? You know, I think Canada has the best. Canada has traditionally been like, you know, the best hockey country in the world. Um, and there's so many players that come out of Canada. So a lot of the teams, I mean, these, these teams are based out of cities, right? So there's the Calgary Flames, the Edmonton Oilers, the Toronto Maple Leafs, right? The, um, and down in the U.S. I mean, most of the, most of the NHL is actually down in the U.S. Sometimes the teams are named after the, after the, the states as well. Um, like, in New York, for example, New York, New York is a state and it's also a city, right? I mean, there's the state of New York and then there's the city of New York. Well, th they have two different hockey teams. So it's not always just a city. Um, 
you know, it's it's a franchise basically. So you know, it's it's a hockey team. And in, in, in the same in Florida, you've got the Florida Panthers, and then you've got the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, the Florida Florida is the state. Tampa Bay is inside Florida. So why are there two? I don't know. <clears throat> it's just how it is. Okay. So, but most of the time it's most of the time it's cities. Okay. Um, so yeah. So like I said, there there can be players from all around the world. All the best players play in the NHL. Now, what's the whole point of the NHL? I mean, what why why are players playing this? Well, they're trying to win the Stanley Cup. This is a picture of the Stanley Cup here. Okay. Um, it's just like in soccer, you know, in the World Cup, they're trying to win the the gold trophy World Cup, right? In the, well, in, in hockey, they're trying to win the Stanley Cup. Okay, so that's what they're trying to do right now. So the regular season runs from October to April. That's the normal season. And then after the normal season, all the best teams, the highest ranking teams in the normal season go and play in the playoffs or sometimes called the postseason, right? So right now, May and June, right? Is, so right now, it's we're in May. Um, so the postseason has begun. It's the playoffs, right? So the playoffs have have begun. So this is, this is the format of how the teams play. Okay, so it's a best of seven series. That means the first to win four games wins. Right, that's what best of seven means, All right? Or best of three. Let's say if you know if if you're playing a game and it's like a best of three, that means if if I win one and you win one, then whoever wins the next one wins, right? That's the best of three. Or this in this case, it's the best of seven, right? So right now, Calgary and Edmonton are starting. Game one is starting in a few hours from now, and let's say Calgary wins. Okay. Let's say Calgary wins and then wins and wins and wins. Well, then that's it. That's the best. They've won the best of seven series. But let's say let's say Calgary wins the first three and then Edmonton wins the next three. Well, then they have to go to game seven and they have to play game seven. And game seven is huge. Now, this is the second round. We're in the second round of the um, of the playoffs right now. The first round, Calgary beat the Dallas Stars last round. That was the first round. Now it's the second round. Okay, and then after this, it'll be the third round, and then the fourth round is the Stanley Cup. That's where you win, right? So, um, so in the first round, there were a lot of Game 7s, so it was exciting. That So Calgary beat the Dallas Stars in Game 7, you know. Game 7s are always, like, really, really nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking means they're just, they're exciting, and you get nervous because... Everything is on the line, right? If everything is on the line, that means you, it means something's going to happen. You're, it's a win or lose situation, all right? So game seven, everything is on the line. You're either going to win and go forward, or you're going to lose and you're going out, right? So, um, so anyway, um, Calgary Flames, Edmonton Oilers in the first round. So the second round could be maybe, let's say Calgary wins this round. Then the next round could, Calgary might play like the Colorado Avalanche. And then, and then the final, the final series, they could play maybe someone like the, um, it, out in the, it would be one of the teams in the East. Okay. So the finals, Stanley Cup final is one team from the West and one team from the East. So if Calgary goes all the way up to the you know, to the Stanley Cup Finals, then they would be playing against someone from the East, which would be maybe someone like the New York Rangers or the Tampa Bay Lightning or or someone, someone on that side of the. It's kind of divided East and West, right? So it's a uh, it's very exciting time here in Alberta with this Battle of Alberta. Like I said, this hasn't happened since 1991. I mean, that's a long time ago. That's like 30. What's that? Uh, over 30 years, right? 31 years ago. Man, that's crazy. So, guys, I just wanted to uh, ask you, what do you think? Who do you think will win the Stanley Cup? And who do you think will win the Battle of Alberta? Let me know your answer down in the comments. I'd be interested to know your prediction. Um, and let me know, have you ever watched ice hockey before? You know, a lot of my subscribers are from, you know, places like India or, I don't know, Brazil or those places where they don't really have ice hockey. But have you ever watched ice hockey? Is it... 
is it interesting to you? It's 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 fun to watch, especially if you understand the sport. I can't remember if I've made a video before explaining ice hockey. If you want me to make a video explaining how the sport works, you know, I'll, I'll do that. This video, I just wanted to um, just to share the news with you that it's big news here in Alberta. It's the Battle of Alberta. Um, this is the playoff. So either only one of the only one of those two teams are going to advance. Either it's going to be Calgary or it's going to be Edmonton. So who do you think is going to do it? And who, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? A Canadian team has not won the Stanley Cup. I can't remember for how many years now. It's It's been a long, long time. Um, I should have looked that up before before making this video. Um, it's been so long. It's usually the American teams win for some reason. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So Calgary actually was in the finals, made it all the way to the Stanley Cup finals in and played against the Tampa Bay Lightning back in, I think that was like 2000. I can't remember if it was like 2000. It was in the early 2000s, like maybe 2003 to 2000 five or something like that somewhere somewhere in that range and uh yeah it was exciting you know in calgary everybody was wearing red you know because uh because the calgary flames color is red so um when you look if you look at if you watch the game tonight game one uh is where is game one is it here in calgary i didn't even check <laughs> i think it's here in calgary so um so game one is if you watch if you watch it here in calgary the whole all the fans will be wearing red, and that's called the Sea of Red. So the Sea of Red, if you have a chance to, to uh, watch the game, I don't know, maybe you can find the game online somewhere if you're not in Canada here. But uh, everybody in Calgary and Alberta, everybody in Alberta is going to be interested in this series. So it's it's seven, it's it's the best of seven. It doesn't mean that it will, it will be seven games, but it could go the distance. If it goes the distance... That means it will go all the way to game seven. Like if, if if Edmonton wins three games and Calgary wins three games, then it would go the distance to game seven. So do you think it'll go the distance or will one of the teams just win it pretty quick? Um, so that's exciting, guys. Uh, so so hopefully you can can catch some of the games. Now, the games aren't back to back. I mean, it's not it's not one day you know, after another day. It's uh, it's. It's usually, there's usually a day break in between the games, sometimes two days break. So a whole series, let's say it's a seven game series. If it goes to game seven, it will be, you know, it'll take like two weeks. So it'll probably take us kind of till the end of May. And then the next round will take us kind of to maybe middle of May. And then the last round will take us to, or sorry, June, I'm talking June. Uh, if Calgary wins this round at the end of May, then they'll play the next round till probably middle of June. And then after that is the Stanley Cup Finals, where it'll be probably go till like the end of June. So that's it, guys. Um, hope you're excited. I'm excited. As always, I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And as always, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. Mm -hmm.